welcome everyone and what a game we have for you tonight as we get set to bring you NBA action on 2K Sports. Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Harlan. With me, Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And as always, the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, joining us from the sidelines. A moment here now to see the numbers for him. His assist numbers in the past five games have gone in the wrong direction. He's been out of sync with his teammates, sort of playing on an island instead of as part of a five-man unit. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Vincent is out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's Hachimura in at the three. And for the Warriors, Clay Thompson is out there with Kaminga. Then it's Kevon Looney. Then there's Gary Payton, the second. And it's Curry in at the point. Here we are, Richard, in the middle part of the season. How much does a coach begin to worry about his team's output at this point of the year? Oh, well, that's all coaches do. They worry. It's in the DNA of being a coach. That's why I don't do it, because I never worry about anything. These guys right here, if they could have the best team ever assembled, I think coaches would still worry about production. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Simply the greatest shooter we have ever seen. Every time he makes another three-pointer, he's adding to the record. Now here's LeBron. He just could not put it together in that loss to Chicago. Up top, Hachimura. He's covered by Thompson. Just four to shoot. There's the three. Hachimura, no good. And so Peyton will bring it up for the Warriors. It's a three-point game. Pass to Kaminga. Curry with it. Out to Peyton. But Trey... Thompson outside, beyond the arc. The rebound by James. Here's Vincent, guarded by Curry. And last season, the Warriors' so-called two-timeline approach seemed to fall flat, don't you think, G.A.? And whether it was chemistry or younger players still growing into their roles, the Warriors are now clear. There's only one timeline, and that's Steph Curry's. First one falls. An unfortunate struggle for this Lakers team has been injuries, Richard. Staying healthy is the key to any team's success. But the past few seasons, the Lakers have had some really big hits. Luck just wasn't on their side in that regard. That's good as he hits both of his shots. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Pass to James. Feeds to Davis. It's stolen by Kaminga. Here's Curry, and they cash in right away with a quick shot. Curry's got five points so far. Making use of the in-between area. Curry's ability to break defenses down opens up these shots. And here are the Lakers. Now here's James, one of the most consistent producers in the league. He's averaging around 25 and a half points a game. Here's the pass to Vincent. Three-pointer. The Warriors pull it in. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. And it was one of those games where it was just hard to get anything going. And you could see frustrations emerge. But what a gutsy win. To struggle in the offensive end that much and still win the game, that says something about the character of the team. Al Russell after the miss three from Stephen Curry. And the shot is good. Yeah, fearless move by Russell, just challenging the defense, going right to the heart. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. 
Here's Curry. He's got five. Curry, a screen on Russell. Back to Curry. There's one for three. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got three assists now in this one. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Lakers trail by four. And it's Gary Payton, the second, with the foul. That's his first foul. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. To the left side wing. Here's Hachimura. Nailed from three-point land. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Curry with it. He had 34 points in the win against Sacramento. And he didn't just create offense for himself now. He did a tremendous job of setting up his teammates as well. Thompson with the bucket. Just great awareness from Curry. So good at reading the floor and finding his open teammates. Now, Vincent... He's coming off a 10-point game against Chicago. LeBron with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. James, no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Now, here's Looney. No scoring in this one. Kaminga, no good. Lakers trail by three. Outside, James. Outside, Russell. Out left of the wing. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Golden State's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Now, here's Kaminga. Not a lot of room. Here's the three. The Lakers with the rebound. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Yeah, fought hard really all game long. And, and, and I'm thinking, you know, maybe a, a little couple minute surge there at the end would do it. But the inability to kind of really lock in down the stretch ultimately prevented them from coming away with the win. Now here's Thompson following the miss by Anthony Davis. Nice shot by Thompson. Just under control. That's where Clay Thompson stays. That's where his lane is, and it's easy with the pull-up. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Stolen by Thompson. A three. And another three for Golden State. They're D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And we've got a chance now to get caught up on how the standings are looking in the West as we make the push through midseason. Look at the Lakers. Right now they've compiled the third best record in the conference. And checking out Golden State, eight games out. And seeing where the Warriors are, they have been one of the major surprises in the NBA this season. Unfortunately, for the wrong reasons. And we keep waiting for them to turn it around. And waiting, and waiting. And at this point in time, I'm just going to say it's probably not going to happen. Now here is Davis. 32 points for him last game against Chicago. And can we talk about the best part? His defense. His shot blocking was simply on another level in that one. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Into the lane. A shot by Looney. No good. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Warriors leading by seven. And RJ, with Gary Payton second, he has one of the most inspiring success stories in our league. Undrafted in 2016, he spent five years grinding in the G League, but he finally broke through in 2022. His defense was a major factor for the Warriors championship run. Curry can't get it to go. Lakers trail by seven. 
outside, Davis. Bangs home the trifecta. Davis has got five. It's the confidence I love when Davis just catches it and shoots it. He doesn't second-guess himself. He just lets it fly. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Thompson outside over Russell. The shot by Thompson, no good. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate it didn't torch them with that mistake. And Davis puts it in. The Warriors shooting 40% here in the early stages. Here's Curry. Out to Thompson. Peyton passes to Looney. Back to Peyton. And again, no good by Golden State. And here's Los Angeles. It's been eight unanswered points for him. Hey, Richard, when you played with LeBron in 2017, did you think he'd still be elite all these years later? That man has had a two-decade-long prime, Greg. I had no idea how much longer this guy's going to be able to do it. But with LeBron, it's just different. His longevity is special. tied up with that one. RJ, the Warriors' dominance of this era has put them among the best franchises of all time. Yes, I would completely agree with that. No one comes close to the Lakers and Celtics though, Kev. The Warriors, after the Spurs, I think the Spurs are three, but the Warriors and the Bulls because they had two dominant eras and not much really before and not much really after. And Richard, for the Warriors, a number of future Hall of Famers playing a part. But Stephen Curry, we all know this, is the center of it all. He's the greatest shooter ever, Kev. We all know that. But I, when people say that he changed the game, a lot of times I like to give credit to the entire team. Having Klay Thompson helped Steph be Steph. And having Draymond Green with that defense and his passing ability helped Steph's game go to another level. Los Angeles making a switch here. Hachimura is checked in. And here is Paul. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. It's tipped. And that's a welcome sign for sure. Hachimura demonstrating a willingness to want to improve as a defender. The Warriors trail. Thompson dishes to Green. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Well, we've got a moment here. The top free-throw shooters in the league. Third is Stephen Curry. And, of course, Gabe Vincent. Neither one of these guys is going to waste an opportunity from the foul line. They just don't give away points. Passes it to Russell. Davis setting the pick for Russell. And it's Davis at the elbow. Over Looney. And Davis with the basket on the assist by Russell. Ten points for Anthony Davis. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. Warriors trail by three. Paul outside. Pass to Thompson. Looking to end the run. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Vincent. Defended by Paul. Outside, Russell. Dinwiddie passes to Hachimura. Six to shoot. Back to Dinwiddie. All three off the mark. On offense, here are the Warriors. And this matchup with the Lakers, it's their first meeting of the season. You have plenty of familiarity in this matchup. Last season, they were knocked out of the playoffs by this club. I like when Green looks to score. He's good at putting defenses in a bind. That's good from Green. Talking about the Grizzly veteran, Draymond Green, still such an important player in this game. 
Yeah, it's just because he's so unique. He doesn't look to score very often. His main focus continues to be on defense and his playmaking ability. Both free throws good from Green. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their star. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. Hachimura finds Vincent. And it's Russell in the corner. And it's off from three-point range. Warriors shooting only around 32% so far in this one. The offense looking a bit off kilter. Hachimura. Amon Green with the rebound. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Over to the left wing. So they take the lead. Sharp find by Paul. One of the best passes of all time. The Lakers trail. Here's Vincent. He gives the team some steady offense. A bit under 10 points a game. Right side, Russell. Back to Vincent. Outside, Davis. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Vincent misses. Here's Pajemski. He's guarded by Russell. The wing jumper off target. Lakers shooting just 35% to start the game. And Richard with D'Angelo Russell. He's a guy who can do just about anything in the backcourt. That's right, Kev. If you need him to be a true floor general, he can do that in spurts. And if you need him to be a score-first offensive catalyst, that's his sweet spot. And the Lakers call time here. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And while we have a chance, how about the numbers for Stephen Curry? And he's in the top 20 in assists per game. His talent for creating easy buckets for his teammates, such an asset. And he possesses so much confidence when he's at the line. You mentioned his free throw accuracy. Third best right now in the NBA. And he's earned it. Free throw good, Russell. And so Russell hits them both. Well, as long as the Lakers have a healthy Anthony Davis, RJ, they will be a factor, won't they? Yes, this is why they traded so much to New Orleans to get him, Kev. AD is a top five guy in the league when he is healthy. Davis can dominate on both ends, and it is rare to see that. So it's the Warriors now. Ball right side. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Ball surveying the floor. Yeah, getting a little better on defense every day. Russell with the size and length to be more of a factor. Reeves the pass to Dinwiddie. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. LeBron with a screen on Paul. Pocket six over Paul. And he can't bank that one in. And it's the Warriors on the break. Paul is doubled. Out to Sharch. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. And again, no good by Golden State. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Pass to Russell. 30 seconds left to play in the first. And they take the lead. And the Lakers lead by two. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. 
The Warriors shooting well off their usual numbers, around 29% so far. And a deep three from Curry. Misses the three. All against Russell. Dishes it to James. In the corner, it's Dinwiddie. And a miss there on the triple. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Lakers ahead, ending the first quarter with a massive 16-5 run. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Lakers. This game has been all about tenacity for them. Getting right in the defense's business and winning trip after trip to the line. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball. Working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. The Lakers in the lead. Charge is out there with Draymond Green. Then it's Wiggins. Then it's Curry. And it's Paul in at the two. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Dinwiddie. Great T that time from Green. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And the NBA looking to reduce the amount of carrying recently. Seems like... GA ball handlers had to adjust. You know, guards can get away with a lot these days, and it's hard for players and refs to make that adjustment. Ultimately, things need to be kept in check. Now, here's Green. Back to Curry. Wow! Magical moves inside from Steph Curry. The better shooter you are, the quicker you become. Curry makes it so hard to guard him in these little moments, he slips past the defense. Here's James. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. For Los Angeles, they have made all of their free throws so far tonight, going six for six. No good for James. I think everybody knows how good LeBron James is. But the thing that makes it remarkable is the longevity of his talent. And he is still leading the way for his team. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by one. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Kevin, thanks. Chris Paul is on the back nine of what will be a Hall of Fame career. But he's not ready to hang it up just yet. He said, I don't know if I can ever retire because the emotional roller coaster that you go on during a game, for real, there's nothing like it. His love of the game has never been in question, Kevin. Back to you. Yeah, you're right, David. Never in question. Hey, thanks for that story. Now, here's Reddish. Following the miss shot by Dario Saric. Out to the wing. Here's Reeves. Good, and the assist goes to James. And the Lakers lead by one. Guys, seven times the lead has changed hands here now. Yeah, and that number should easily top double figures before it's over. Now here's Curry. 11 points in the game. Wiggins finds Sharnich. And he uses the glass on the way. D was too focused on Wiggins scoring. Easy give to his teammate. Here's James. it out to Dinwiddie. Hands it from downtown. Yeah. 
And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Outside Curry. The three. Curry buries the three shot. What a response from Curry. Gotta know he's coming for his revenge. Dinwiddie dishes to James. Back to Dinwiddie. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Outside Curry. There's the triple. And another three for Golden State. And doing much better now in that first quarter, converting less than 30% of their field goal opportunities. Bouncing back nicely here in the second. Now here's LeBron. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Here's Reeves. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Warriors leading by four. And the foul on Cam Reddish. That's his first foul. Some changes for Golden State. Kaminga comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And it's Peyton in for Paul. Hachimura, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Vincent comes in for Reddish. Charge passes to Peyton. Outside Curry. Fires away from outside. Rebounded by the Lakers. James has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Going inside. Green with the block. More of a positional defender. That time Green sends it back. Here's LeBron. No good that time. Great tee that time from Green. Now the dish to Curry. Baseline try. Kaminga with a wide open look. And the Warriors miss again. Lakers trail by four. Hachimura with it. Kaminga picks him up. Here's Reeves. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now he averages nearly 12 points a game. And we've got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Kavon Looney. On the boards, he's been a much bigger presence these last few years than he had been prior. And he can be counted on now to make an impact with his rebounding. And that's a product of all the work he's put in down low. That free throw, no good. Looney's check in for Dario Scharch. And he's good on the second. Warriors leading by three. Now here's Curry. He's got 17. Kaminga the pass to Peyton. Outside Curry. From deep. Gets that one through the hole. Make him now 7 of 13 in this game. On a night like tonight, Steph Curry is must-watch basketball. He can score from anywhere. And the Lakers call time here. Still a ways to go between now and the three-point contest, but it's always fun to talk about it. Let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event. And maybe this list changes between now and All-Star Weekend, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now. You take a look at Thompson. The third spot in the voting belongs to him. There are very few players with his ability from long range, and it looks like he'll be rewarded with a spot in the three-point contest. And I'm sure there'll be some changes in the rankings still to come, but you're right. I'd be surprised if there's anyone who wouldn't cast a vote his way. And it's going to be an exciting showcase this year. Some incredible shooters, that's for certain. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. Yeah, I think we're in for a real treat. I, I think the increased importance of the three-point shot in today's game has really shined a light on the talent, precision, and, and really the wow factor of how these guys can drill the long ball. And here is Los Angeles now after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. LeBron passes to Vincent. Back to LeBron. The pass to Vincent. Just five on the clock. Fires from 18. 
Green with the rebound. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Kaminga kicks to Green. Payton with it. A 14-point game for him in the win against Sacramento. And yes, records are made to be broken. But RJ made three-point shots. My goodness, Curry is so far ahead of everyone else. Yeah, to me, it comes down to longevity. LeBron passed Kareem on all-time scoring list, so anything is possible. But it's hard to pass Steph because he's just going to keep going. Now, here's Peyton. Hasn't made one yet. It's Curry outside. To the wing on the left. Kaminga the pass to Green. Golden State moving it around. Curry's shot is good. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shelter. James the pass to Vincent. Tim Woody for three. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got nine rebounds now tonight. Puts up a deep three. Curry laser guided shot from deep range. Yeah, and they've done a great job knocking down those long range shots here in the second. Shooting just over 40% from downtown. LeBron, that's a two pointer. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. He is just a bad man when he starts to drive. Once he gets that shoulder by the defender, look, it's over. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Outside, Baton passes it to Green. He is looking for Looney and finds him good on the shot. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. And here is Los Angeles now, following the score by Golden State. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And the foul called on the Golden State Warriors. He's not afraid of getting physical. I like how LeBron James has no problem accepting the contact while trying to score. And Greg, one of the finer points of the new collective bargaining agreement, players in the G League night or overseas no longer automatically entering the NBA draft when they turn 19. Yeah, it, it makes sense. You think about players in college, they choose when to enter the draft. So only right to give pros that same amount of time. Now here's Curry. He's got 29 points. Thompson outside. A three ball. And it's Russell with the rebound. Lakers trail by 10. Vincent the pass to James. And again, no good by the Lakers. Let's just say his subpar shooting is just one reason why they are trailing in this ball game. Lost contact on the shot and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Paul's checked in for the Warriors. Radish, he's checked in for Los Angeles. On the free throw, no good. RJ, if you had to choose someone to take the last shot in a big game, Clay Thompson, I'm assuming, is right up there. Oh, Kev, Clay Thompson would be my number one. He plays with an even temperature. His facial expressions never change. He's never too high, never too low. And look, we've obviously seen that he can knock down any shot at any time. He can dominate, beat you up in so many ways. And Davis is giving that D. Oh, he, he's giving them problems tonight. Paul kicks it to Looney. Let's it go from 14. Out to Peyton. Fires for three. A rebound by the Lakers. Vincent with it. Chris Paul covering. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. You cannot play worse offensively, although he's trying. And he hasn't made one shot yet. I feel for it. Warriors leading by 11. Al Paul. Pass to Thompson. Fires the three. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. 
Davis has got seven rebounds in the game. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. That one good for two. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And the Warriors with possession here. And here is Paul. Thompson outside, launches it. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got his third assist on the night. Lakers trail by 12. Outside, Russell. Outside, Davis. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. 158 left in the second quarter. Paul passes to Looney. Kicks it to Thompson. From outside the arc, Vincent with the rebound. Not his best efficiency this quarter. Uh, look, sometimes that's how it goes. And that one's good. Russell. And this is why you like size in the backcourt. Russell taking the hit, yet still able to finish. One thirty-three left now here in the second. Paul outside. Kaminga sends a screen for Paul. Pass to Kaminga. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Rui Hachimura picks one up. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And another thing coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers. Spreading the wealth Shoot and two. creating some offensive opportunities. First one falls for him. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. All three throws good from Kaminga. 122 left in the first half. Here's Vincent, defended by Paul. Russell against Payton. Outside, Davis. Six on the shot clock. Russell kicks to Hachimura. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got assist number five here tonight. Getting comfortable in the second quarter. His efficiency is finally on the rise. Now here's Paul. Now the pass to Peyton. Looney up top. He's guarded by Davis. Paul passes to Kaminga. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Fires the three. The offensive rebound. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Warriors lead by nine. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Passes to Vincent. Now about 10 seconds separating the shot and game points. Reddish with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. Too long in the paint and he's hit with a three second violation. The Lakers have shot nine of 11 at the free throw line. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Russell against Peyton, and there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's his first foul. Oh 
Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Russell looking it over. Five on the clock. Here's Vincent. Offline with his three. And that's the final possession with the nice defense right there. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Warriors lead by eight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and I think they've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing through. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Hello and welcome, basketball fans. The first half coming to an end with a deficit for the Los Angeles Lakers. I haven't really seen the effort from them in terms of rebounding. In fact, at times, they're getting straight bullied. And that's certainly costing them right now. But effort is something you have control over. We'll see how they come out in the second half. Okay, now we'll look at some of the players who could be a part of the dunk contest during All-Star break. A lot of talented, creative guys in this group. I hope ultimately a cross-section is chosen, not just different sizes and position, but very different styles. Variety is a spice of life type thing. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Curry has been sensational. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with a game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. Checking out the group now for Darvin Ham to start the second half. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. D'Angelo Russell out there with Vincent. And it's Hachimura in at the three slot. Uh, look, I can't think of a better partner to have a pick and roll with than Davis. Sets hard screens and has soft hands to match. Curry kicks it to Looney. Outside Curry. Tries it from the top of the key. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. And it's Hachi Murray in the corner. That one, no good. Good D by Thompson. Outside Curry. Puts up a deep three. And it's Russell with the rebound. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistently. 
Now here's LeBron. Eight points for him. Pass to Vincent. Jacks up a three. The Warriors pull it in. Looney's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Curry passes to Payton. Curry setting the pick for Payton. Back to Curry. Low block shot. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. That's not how you want to come out of the break. Three straight misses. They need to settle in quick. Now, here's Thompson after LeBron James's miss. Pass to Looney. Out to Peyton. Three-pointer. Krill's the three-pointer. Peyton's got five. And it took some time, but hopefully getting that make will kind of kickstart and kind of wake them up here in this third quarter after missing their first few shots. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And so here is Golden State. Here's Curry with the three. Knocks down the three ball. Curry's got 32 points in the game. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Russell dishes to Davis. Count it, and he's now eight of nine from the floor. Hey, I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm not going to lie. I am happy I never had to guard AD. This guy has it all between the length, the touch, the smarts. He's got everything. Thompson from long range. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Here's Russell. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. He's got eight. An active competitor. Russell won't go down without a fight, especially around the rim. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. Six-point lead. The pass to Looney. Now here's Kaminga. Covered by LeBron. Thompson, a screen on James. And the three off target. Lakers trail by six. Vincent, the pass to Russell. Back to Vincent. From past the arc. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Golden State's gone 2 of 5 with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Peyton passes to Kerr. And again for three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. Timeout called the Lakers. Here now, the 2K leaderboard, showing us the best passing teams in the NBA over the course of the last month. The Lakers, number one. And, and what stands out during this recent stretch is just how well they pass the basketball. I mean, this is a club that has become really unselfish. Here's LeBron. He's got eight. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The Golden State Warriors have made the transformation from a league doormat to an all-time champion since the turn of the century. Now, some sources say that the Warriors are the most valuable franchise in the NBA. And right there amongst the most valuable in the world. New ownership, a new arena. They've made a difference to be sure, but make no mistake... Stephen Curry has been the linchpin. Guys? Absolutely. No doubt. D.A., thank you. Shot clock at six. Curry. And he hits the jump shot. And now an eight-point Warrior lead. Defensively, you have to be aware of Curry in that set. Here's Vincent, guarded by Curry. Here's Russell. 
and a wide open look for Hachimura. Los Angeles with another miss. And they're, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And the basket by Curry. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Lakers trail by 10. James finds Vincent. Davis with a screen on Kirk. Outside, Davis. Back to Vincent. Six on the shot clock. Will it go? No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And the defense was all over him once he got in close. Didn't want him to get too comfortable. Thompson outside. Pass to Looney. Back to Thompson. Launches a three. Lakers with the rebound. They can look forward to the Rockets Arena after this matchup to take on Houston. That will be their second of six road games for the team. Pass to James. It's rebounded by Kaminga. They are losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. Driving inside. Another shot, and it's good on the way up. And the Warriors lead by 12. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Now here's LeBron. Eight points for him. And James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. And the Warriors making a change here. Paul's checked in. Dinwiddie is checked in for Los Angeles. Here's the Warriors with the ball. They're rolling here with a nine-point run. Pass to Peyton. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Just five to shoot. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. A three-pointer off the mark. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Now the pass to Vincent. In the corner, it's Dinwiddie. Over Peyton. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's now here's Paul he's guarded closely Thompson outside Looney with it Davis is there the shot by Looney no good that's exactly how you have to defend him he's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times Davis kicks to Dinwiddie to the middle James no good Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Now, here's Looney. Back to Paul. Fires from deep. Good on the three-point shot. Paul's got his second bucket of the night. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. And, and offensively, he has been a liability more than he's helped this quarter. Back to Thompson. Here's Looney. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Passes it to LeBron. Right side, Davis. Back to James over Paul. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. More than a few bad breaks for him this quarter. He's struggling, and the team is following suit on the scoreboard. Kaminga the pass to Looney. Back to Kaminga. Let's it go with a three. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got rebound number 15 here tonight. Can they get it? And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Peyton dishes to Thompson. And 
the Warriors miss again. Uh, I'm going to say he hasn't found the same success here in the second half compared to what we saw from him in the first. Warriors with the rebound. Kaminga's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Hall finds Thompson to the paint. And he goes in for the jump. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds them. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. 17-point game. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. With the drive. Tries a three. Good on the triple. Dinwiddie's got seven points. And dialing up the three ball, he finally puts it in to the 14-0 run by Golden State. Warriors leading by 14. Pass to Looney. 124 left to play in the third. Kaminga the pass to Thompson. And Hachimura with a clear pass to the right. Great find by Braun using his basketball IQ. If you don't understand how smart he is, just ask him. We've got 108 left to play here in the third. Thompson for three. Hachimura grabs the miss. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. Now here is Davis. 18 points for him. It's taken away by Peyton. Here's Kaminga. And Kaminga throws it down. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, when you hustle on the break like he does, good things tend to happen. Here's Vincent. The Warriors making the shot. There's 25 seconds left to play in the third. James cooking from deep. When you're guarding LeBron, you have to give him something. So the King, well, he'll take a three-point basket. There's 21 seconds left in the third. Ball outside. Thompson right side. It's stolen by Hachimura. Vincent the pass to Davis. And Davis throws it down. Ooh, when the brow gets up, you better get out the way. There's not many people with that length and that athleticism. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we'll be back with you shortly. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's an unguardable pass. Flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. They've got Sharich. Stephen Curry's out there with Paul. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. And it's Green in at the five. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Ooh, he's been the guy tonight. Really impressive performance. Now here's LeBron. James on the drive. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Sharich. And this dude is an absolute terror on the defense when he's slashing towards the rim. He dares the defense to foul, and sometimes people make business decisions. And the first one drops. Both 
free throws. Good from James. Warriors leading by nine. Paul outside. Curry from deep three-point land. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 41% for the game. Judge has the open look at Paul's Nice feed that time from Wiggins. And the Warriors lead by 12. Well, he's just stretching them out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. And the lack of defensive pressure on shots like that is a big reason they're down by double digits. Dinwiddie sets the screen for James. Pass to Vincent. Back to LeBron. Wood trying to free himself up. Now the Warriors moving it up. And it's Wiggins with the jam. I've always said, when in doubt, just jump over them. And Wiggins is listening to me. Lakers trail by 14. Vincent the bounce pass. James with it. Now guarded by Sharp. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And here's what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Monday, they'll be facing Steven Adams and the Houston Rockets. Then on Tuesday, they'll be taking on Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. And for their matchup with the Celtics, this is what the fans have been wanting to see. Two of the best teams in the league duking it out, and, and you know whoever gets the win is going to be viewed as the team to beat. Radish, he's checked in for the Lakers. Pass to Pajemski. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And that one misses. And the second free throw, good. Lakers trail by 14. And there's the pass to Wood. Here's Reeves. Back to Wood. Passes it to LeBron. A three-pointer, no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. It's good. As team first as anyone in this league, Green is always looking to dish. And here is Los Angeles now. Dinwiddie dishes to James. Pass to Reddish. Kicks it out to James. Off target from outside. Nothing is going his way in this half offensively. Really having a hard time finding his shot. And it's Wiggins missing. Lakers trail by 16. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. The Warriors have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Outside Curry. Puts up a deep three. Rebound the Lakers. Here's Reeves. Wood. It's good on the putback. An excellent rebounder in college. Despite being kind of a skinny kid, Wood is doing the same thing at this level. Pass to Green. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And it's Wiggins with the jam. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by 16. Back to Dinwiddie. It's stolen by Sharks. Four on three break. And the pass to Curry. Back to Sharks. He kicks it to Curry. Five to shoot. Screen by Sharks. From downtown. The shot by Curry. No good. And even against defense as tight as that, 
you, you almost expect him to still bury those. Dinwiddie outside. Passes it to Reeves. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Curry with it. Pass to Wiggins. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Woods got five rebounds tonight. Here's Reeves, guarded by Green. Reeves the pass to LeBron. Pass to Reeves. Takes the three. Charge grabs the board. Charge has got rebound number five here tonight. And Curry has it in the corner. Here's Pajemski. It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got six rebounds in the game. Dinwiddie with it. Now defended by Wiggins. Here's Wood. Takes it off the glass. The lanky big man Wood is gifted at keeping his balance despite the contact. Warriors leading by 12. Here's Pajemski. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Out to Sharch. Let's the three fly. Reeves with the rebound. Lakers have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Green against James. Here's Reeves. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. James has got six assists in the game. I I'm going to be really time honest. Out, like out. Watching him command an offense, it's a thing Sorry. of beauty. Not many players have been able to score and assist. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. Now, he heaped praise on the defense. He said, the pressure's great. I love it. Keep making them make mistakes, guys. It's working. He thinks they're on the right track here. Guys, back to you. All right. Thank you, David. Lakers trail by nine. Now, Vincent... To Russell for three, and it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got his 18th rebound here tonight, all over the place. Now here's Curry, defended by Vincent. There's the pass to Kaminga. Outside Curry, trying to get something going. The Lakers with the rebound. James has got double digit rebounds now in the game. Davis, the pass to Vincent. And again, it's the Lakers. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Warriors leading by seven. Passes to Kaminga. Back to Curry from deep three-point land. Rebounded by the Lakers. Here's LeBron. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Kaminga's got eight rebounds in this game. Thompson outside. Pass to Looney. Now here's Curry. And the Warriors miss again. And as long as he keeps missing from deep, the D will keep letting him fire away. He's just off from range right now. LeBron with it. Kaminga on him. Out to Russell. To the inside. Out of bounds. Golden State takes possession. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. 
17 points was their biggest margin. Keaton, Tim Peyton throws it down hard. And, and really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Lakers trail by nine. Benzin finds Russell. Davis with it. Pass to LeBron. Back to Davis. And finished off by Davis. Well, I guess we could give him credit for not getting discouraged. They're still playing hard. He's doing his job out there. To the middle. Here's Looney. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got four assists now tonight. No settling for an outside shot there. They went right to the hoop. LeBron kicks to Davis. It's stolen by Kaminga. Thompson in the post. He's against Hashimura. Outside, Dayton. Puts up a three. Curry can't get it to go. And even though the quarter has been a struggle, it doesn't look like he's lost his confidence. He keeps looking for a shot. The contested three. Good for LeBron. As a defender, you just can't dwell on that. you got to move on. You did your job. LeBron hit a tough shot. Just keep playing that type of D. Warriors leading by six. Left side, Curry. Over Vincent. Here's Looney. It's good. That basket, he's now five for nine. How about the level of activity this dude just brings to the glass? Just refusing to give up on plays. And his teammates, trust me, they appreciate the effort. James outside. Here's Russell. Davis, the pass to Vincent. He's looking for LeBron and finds him. Lock at six. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Yeah, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. You've got to focus on the details. Lakers trail by eight. James in the post. Defended by Kaminga. Russell no luck. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. The feed to Thompson. Thompson hammers it down. Oh, a little bit of bounce still play. Okay, I see you get off the floor with a little ease, with a little thumb. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by 10. 119 left in the fourth quarter. To the paint. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Russell. And he has to build on this because we can see where him being a ghost out there has gotten them so far. And the Warriors can't hang on to the ball. One oh nine left in the fourth. James dishes to Russell. The pass to Vincent. Inside. Here's Davis. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And that's what you call a big-time shot by a big-time player. A.D. demonstrating just how clutch he really is. And a moment now, to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Warriors. The name of the game in the modern NBA is making threes. Space in the court, and that's exactly what they are doing tonight. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy points, boy, they just jump at it. I'm not sure we've seen someone like AD before. Super long, skilled, athletic. He's just a unique talent. Curry looking it over. And an intentional foul right there.
44 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. Over in the corner, Vincent. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Pass to Looney. Golden State moving it around. Curry against James. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Curry kicks to Payton. Pass to Kaminga. Down low. It's stolen by Davis. And here we go. Fast break. LeBron's got it. From outside, off the mark. So we see the Warriors get the win here. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Andrew, an impressive win for you guys. How will you look back on tonight? I don't feel great, you know, and uh, I think the whole team played great. You know, we shared the ball, uh, we grabbed rebounds, we made big possessions. You know, so I think it was a great game. Hey, Andrew, congrats again. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry.